fan of Hallmark movies, or at least I was. I remember once my grandson, who was nine at the time, said, Grandma, uh, you want to come and watch a movie? We can watch your channel where the girl finds the guy, but she always ends up with the other guy, and he's poor. And I was like, yeah, that's the formulaic Hallmark movie. But what I loved about it is that I could always watch it and know that there wasn't going to be some gratuitous sex scene, something that goes against my Catholic morality, and um, just brainless entertainment. Until, of course, they made the decision about a year or so ago that they would start including couples that went against Catholic teaching. They started including they guaranteed that they would have X number of homosexual couples in there. I had a problem with that. And I could no longer watch Hallmark movies. This video is a shout out to Candace Cameron Bure. I loved watching her. I knew of her faith. And when I recently found out that she had transferred to Great American Family, I couldn't have been prouder. Now, when I first thought about it, I said, I bet I know why. She's got strong family values and her faith is deep. They're just not gonna make a public spectacle of it. Until everyone started attacking her. Attacking her for standing up for her values. Now, I tell you, we Christians are attacked ruthlessly. I, I often say we've gone from a Christian society to not only a post-Christian society, we have literally become an anti-Christian society, at least if you're gonna judge it based on the media that, that we're watching and sometimes even our government. Candace Cameron Bure had the spine and the fortitude that so many others don't have anymore and simply said, I'm standing up for what I believe in. I'm not only going to go to a channel that espouses my views, but I am going to ask them to actually start doing movies that don't shy away from Christian movies, Christian themes. And goodness gracious, did she take a whole bunch of garbage for that. Our society has moved out of one of tolerance and one that's trying to tell us to celebrate that which we don't agree with. Well, where's the tolerance? I could go on and on and say that, but we've already realized we are not in a tolerant society. The people who want us to tolerate them have no desire to tolerate us. Candace Cameron Bure not only stood up for truth and goodness and her Christian, Catholic, her Christian values, but she did it with grace and class. Candace, I love you. I love that you said to people, you know what, if you wanna watch me, I love you. If you don't wanna watch me, I love you too. If you hate me, I love you. If you call me names, I love you because that is exactly what Christ called us to do. We are to love even if people don't love us back. But a lot of us, so many of us, unlike Candace, are afraid of doing anything that will rock the boat. We are so afraid of what other people will think about us. I get that. I was that girl years ago. I was the homecoming court and the prom princess, and I was the most popular girl, according to votes and things like that. I remember specifically thinking consciously, conscious thought, wasn't even subconscious. If everybody likes me, that means I'm a good person. Now, I was only, you know, 16, 17, 18 years old when I was thinking that, but I really was a nice person and people did like me. I was Catholic and raised Catholic too and it's so funny how I didn't make that connection until later in my life. It doesn't matter, Christine, if they like you or not. That doesn't define you as a good person. Following me, loving like me, says Christ, is all that matters. Furthermore, he said, and by the way, <laughs> you're going to be blessed if they persecute you or if they hate you because they hated me first. So if you've not been persecuted, if you've not been hated, if you've not been attacked because of speaking up against Christ, you better go check yourself. You might not be doing enough. Are you shying away from speaking the truth because you don't want, you know, someone to think differently about you? You're afraid of what people might say? Well, what do you think will happen on Judgment Day when God stands 
you're in front of God and he's looking down at your poor wretched soul, which is covered with the stains of a lifetime of sins. And he says, and by the way, when they started doing those things that I didn't approve of, when they started calling that fake marriage marriage, why did you say anything? Are you going to look at God and go, well, I was afraid of what they think about me or what they'd say. And God is going to look at you and say, and you weren't afraid of what I would say? You didn't care what I would think? See, we always look at God as this merciful God, which he is, but he's equally just. He is not going to forget his justice. He's going to be merciful if we seek it, but also just. Candace Cameron Bure had the spine of a true Christian. There are going to be people who turn her off, who no longer want to watch her movies. Heck, they may even try to, you know, hurt her. But she's a true Christian. She's willing to take whatever comes with speaking the truth in love. She's okay with being persecuted. She's okay with being mocked. She's okay with being scorned, laughed at, whatever comes with her speaking the truth in love. And you know what? So am I. And I couldn't be prouder to stand alongside such a beautiful young woman, especially knowing she hails from Hollywood. I, I know she probably doesn't live there right now, but she's in that scene where it's just, for the most part, forgive me any of you Christians that live there, but a cesspool of filth and, and tawdry movies and things that do go completely against God's teaching. So for you to stand up for truth in your neighborhood or in your workplace or in your family, that's hard, I'm sure. But to do it where she's doing it too, where the whole industry can collapse on her and hate her and just help her lose her profession, that takes courage. So Candace Cameron Bure, this one is for you. I love you. God bless you. And thank you for saying what so many others should be saying and are afraid to say. If you need someone to stand alongside you, give me a call. I have no problem loving like Christ taught me to love. And I see that's what you're trying to do as well. So I cannot wait to pop some popcorn and see your first movie this holiday season. Going to make me happy. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless each of you watching this. Now go out and don't be afraid of speaking the truth in love. It's what we're commanded to do.